Hey, it's Teresa with My Life Advice, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your car seats when you're dealing with lice. I'm gonna talk about both just cleaning the seats of your car, the regular seats, and also how to clean a child's car seat for lice. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com, and I'm a registered nurse, and I actually specialize in head lice. And if you're in the process of cleaning your house after lice, I have a room by room house cleaning checklist that is completely free and I will put a link for that in the description below. Okay, now let's talk about how to clean car seats after lice. First, let me talk about a child's car seat. Method number one, high heat. Most child's car seats are a plastic and a foam surrounded by a cloth cover. Now, if you can easily take that cloth cover off of a car seat, it's super easy after that. You can wash it in the washing machine if you want to, if it's really dirty, but just know washing cloth is not going to kill any lice because lice can hold their breath in water for a very long time. Also, washing in a washing machine isn't going to like make the lice fall off because lice have these claw-like grips that make it so that they can hold on to cloth very well. But what does kill lice is high heat. So if this cover is something that you can put in the dryer on high heat, that will kill lice. What I recommend is putting it in the dryer on high heat for 40 minutes. Why 40 minutes? That's just because in the studies on lice, they tested lice in the dryer for 40 minutes and all of them were killed. So that's what I recommend, 40 minutes on high heat in the dryer. Now for the normal seats in your car, you're not gonna be able to obviously take those off and put them in the dryer. So what I typically recommend for cleaning seats off in a car is to use a sticky tape lint roller. The kind of thing that people use like for dog hair, these things pick up everything. And I have tested this time and time again with a sticky tape lint roller, and that picks up lice better than anything else. So what you'll need to do is just get a sticky tape lint roller and roll over the seats in your car. That would pick up any lice. The thing about lice is that they don't like burrow inside of things. So they're not gonna burrow into your seats. If there were any lice, they would all be on the outside. So rolling a sticky tape lint roller over the seats really will get any lice that might be in your car. Method number three, wipe them down. Now, if you don't have cloth seats, but instead you have leather seats, then first thing you need to know is that lice aren't gonna crawl very well in leather. They're not gonna be crawling on your seats because they don't have anything to grip onto. These legs that they have, they're kinda like crabs where they can hold on to things like cloth and hair really well, but they can't climb up things like leather. And so really all you need to do for leather seats is to wipe them down with some kind of wet cloth. If you have some kind of special leather cleaner, you can just wipe them down with that. Or if you don't have that, just a regular wet cloth will work just fine. Method number four would be to vacuum your car. You can vacuum your car, but I actually find that a sticky tape lint roller works better than a vacuum. So if you had to choose between the two, I'd recommend a sticky tape lint roller over that. Method number five, don't use your car for 48 hours. Now this might gross a lot of you out, but the truth is that lice live on your blood. They actually suck your blood multiple times a day. And they do that just by living on your scalp, in your hair, and sucking your blood. And in all of the studies, lice that fell off of the head that no longer had that blood source died within 48 hours. Most of them died way before that. So one option you have with your car and really with anything is that you can just not be near it for 48 hours. So if there's another car you can use or you could just not use your car for 48 hours, then all of the lice would die. Sometimes I have people ask me about lice eggs, which are also known as nits, and being worried about those hatching inside of their car. And just to be clear with lice eggs, 
Those have to be on your head in order to hatch. Those are not gonna hatch if they're not on your head. So if you happen to have any lice eggs that fell off somewhere, these same rules are gonna apply, this 48 hour rule or putting in the dryer. It's all going to work for lice eggs as well as lice bugs. Now you'll notice in this video, I didn't recommend any lice sprays and that's because they don't work. Lice have become immune to all the pesticides that are in those lice sprays. In fact, they've also become immune to all of the pesticides that are in the lice treatment kits that you buy at the store. So if you find yourself in the situation where lice keeps coming back, then don't blame yourself. Just know it's because lice are immune to those kits and to all of the sprays. And that's why I have my lice advice. On my website, I have a step-by-step -step video system where people can just follow along with me, where I walk them through how to do a professional lice treatment on their child at home. It's the same exact thing that I've been doing for years and years with my private clients. So if you're struggling with lice, I highly recommend you go there. Also, don't forget below this video in the description, there's a link to a free house cleaning checklist that is specific to head lice. So be sure to pick that up. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, then head over to mylicedvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.